if you are looking for a free presentation software in 2025 this video is for you the reason this free software it enables you to display bible verses song lyrics and sermon slides without costing you a dime i'm ebenezer from osa studio and i'm joseph from Josie concept and i'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step process on how to install this free software how to set it up and how to start using it without any further ado let's get straight into the video so the name of this software is called holerix i'm going to be leaving the link in the description let's go over to holerix.com.br then you go over to this section that says download then it has um, different options you can download it if you're using a windows laptop if you're using a linux laptop or a mac so for this i'm going to make use of the windows you can either download the 64 bits or you download in 32 bits so let's go over with the 64 bits so it's done downloading let's go over to the installation click on ok select english then next 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 then if you wish to create a desktop shortcuts next then install so it's done installing so i'm going to launch the software immediately so you can see this is the updated version 2.25.1 so this is how the interface looks like this section we have the file section new edit song team announcement schedule report to windows share app and so on so first of all let's go over to the bible display so you can see over here go to bible then you can see this is set to the king james version let's say we're going to be making use of this background over here if i want to edit the background i'm going to right click on it click on edit then go over to change if you have a custom made image you can drag and drop it here same with video if you have a custom made video you can drag and drop it here if you want to test run some of the uh, already made backgrounds you can check them at this image section we have patterns we also have animations which you can use i'm not going to be using this bible background for this background i'm going to set this capacity to be 600 already then this effect, I don't want this block holders to be here. I'm going to go over to background color. Then I'm going to remove this, take it to zero. Then the effect, I'm going to increase the outline to 50. Then also I'm going to go to font and alignment. I'm going to set this to 40. Then the background, it's, it's a little bit sharp, conflicting the text. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of the background. Then same thing with the outline. Then I'll click on save. So the background is already saved already. So I'm going to double click on it. So if you want to display the Bible, it has four sections. This section is the books of the Bible. These chapters were here are the verses. So for instance, we have Genesis 1 verse 1. So you click on Genesis, hit on one, then you double click on the verse you want to display or you press enter. So when you double click on it, you're going to see this place will turn to dark lemon color. So this is how it looks like. So this is showing that it's already displayed. So if it's showing this color, this um, dark blue color, it's on preview. And when you double click on it, it's going to display. Where you want to change the translation of Bible you are using, you go over to version, then go over to download. Then in this section, you have some couple of Bible versions you can use. And if the Bible version or translation you are going to make use of is not in this section, you can go over to the same version, go over to this import, then you go over to Zephania XML, go over to import Zephania XML. So I'm just going to come over to this website. I'm going to also be leaving the website link in the description. Then you're always going to input the version you are looking for. So for instance, let's say NIV, although NIV is already installed in the software when you download the Holerix software so let's search for NIV then I'm just going to come over to XML version I need is an XML version then those going to go down a little bit go down you can see other version you can see American King James version let's go over to the new international version so you can see it's done downloading if you have an extractor you can use an extractor i'm not going to go over to extract i'm using winra over to winra then extract it to my desktop folder 
and I'm going to go over to here uh, versions import the Fanian XML then you can see this one here NIV UK then you can see it here then you want to change the version of the Bible translation you can come over to here then you can see the one we just downloaded here where you can see the main NIV you can see the young literary translation world english american standard and so on if you are going to display multiple scriptures for instance we have everything cost 2 verse 1 is going to be displayed as first event cost 2 verse so i'm going to add this to favorite numbers 1 verse 12 add this to favorite then add some couple of scriptures to favorite so it will make it easier for me to display the bible scriptures we are going to double click on this when it's time to read um, leviticus 2 verse 1 you double click on it same thing with the numbers 1 verse 2 if you double click on them then if you have some couple of bibles that have been read before you can come over to history to find them then you can come over to these settings then you can either make your first description to be like the abbreviated version or the full form then you can also this place that says show version if you want the version to be shown you can enable it if you don't want it to be shown you can disable it so these places are self-explanatory then you come over to this place that says file come over to display settings so come over to transition settings so this transition settings is the delay within when this is going to be displayed to the program so we have a uh, preview and program so um, you can see for lyrics and text you can see the duration is 200 which is the lowest and it's quite okay same thing for bible the west you can play around with the transition you can either set this to random depending on the duration you want it to display you can set it to 200 or higher for instance you want to add um, let's say an offering banner for your church so you are going to come over to this new year song then let's go back to this team let's clone this go to change then we're going to drag and drop so let's make use of this thumbnail for instance make use of this thumbnail okay into save click on it let's title this offering then we're just going to hit on the space bar two three times then save then you can see offering there you can see no text on it you're going to double click on it and it's going to display to your display field software is so so free and you can also type using the manual selection and also um typing for instance we have Galatians. you can see the book first one then let's say two then you can see this place that is beeping you just click on enter to display it so let's try another one philemon you can see we have philippians and philemon which starts with the same four characters so let's go over to philemon one verse um, three same thing then psalms let's see psalms um 12 so you, if you are typing first you can just put psalm 12 verse 1 it to add it up to psalm 121 so you can put psalm 12 you can see this place that is beeping you hit on enter to take it to the next place which is the verse then let's say verse 8 then you click on enter same thing let's try proverbs um proverbs theory so you can see that proverbs is up to 31 which it has three user has 30 and user has 31 so we're going to hit on enter then um 
three that's a three step again it has three has 31 to 35 which that's 23 we're going to click on enter so you can see how easy it is to navigate through this software and it's totally for free if you found this video helpful do not forget to hit the like button comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any question drop it down in the comment section below and i've created a new telegram group where you can learn more about media i'm going to be leaving the link down in the description and on the comment section click the link to join see you in my next video thank you